Today was a dynamic squat session. It's been a while since I've done squats with a bull bar. So today I decided why not give it a try. I'm squatting off a box, a foam box in particular. And what that allows me to do is it allows me to judge my depth. I can go a little bit high by just touching the pad or I can just sink to the bottom. So this is really good because my hips are really tight right now and it's just getting my body used to squatting. Took some time off, um, actually a long time off, due to an injury to my knee and that's healed up fine and my hip also. So here I am, squatting light, getting in the groove, trying to sit back as far as possible. I'm gonna go really light this session. Just concentrate on doing a few reps. So here I am, I moved up to 235. Bow bars weigh a little bit more than traditional bars. And bow bar means that the bar has a slight curve to it, a camber. That's maybe about two inches. And they're a little bit longer bars too. What I'm going to do is uh, two sets with 235 and then I'm going to jump to 295 and then finish it off with uh, 305. Really lightweight. What I'm happy about is my knee is not buckling in anymore, which was what the problem I had with my knee and my hip. That has been addressed and solved. go the descent seems fine I'm watching my knees they are staying perfectly in line if you're curious to what knee it is from your position it's going to be the left hand side all right and then moved on to belt squats just loaded it up I did sets of 10. I only did two sets of 10. I'm sorry, three sets of 10 in this training session. Nothing really super heavy, just about 180 pounds. Just getting my body used to doing squats again. This is where when you have an injury, you kind of have to just play it safe and just pick a weight that's kind of light and just do it. Then follow that with band leg curls six sets of ten I really want to hammer the hamstrings today this is one of my favorite hamstring exercises because there's tension throughout the entire movement I take short rest periods and I just crank out the sets and I'm sure everybody that has bands has tried this one if not give it a try you'll like them Then I moved on to probably the best piece of equipment that Titan Fitness makes, and that is their glute ham glider. I like to do this every once in a while for sets of 10, and after band leg curls, this just really cranks my hamstrings up. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.